Welcome to my tutorial on how to install the MySQL software. I wanted to show you the easiest way, in my opinion, how to get the MySQL software installed on your computer. And we also will install a, another software, which is called Table Plus, which will help you to create a database and tables. So the first thing we need to do is we go to the MySQL homepage, which is mysql.com, okay? Once you're on the homepage, you will see on the top, it says My Downloads. And if you scroll down, you see there it says MySQL Community Downloads. Okay. Next page, you see a lot of different things. And the only thing that you need is called the MySQL Community Server. Once you click on that, it asks you which operating system you have. So if you have a MacBook, make sure you select the OS uh, operating system. Um, if you have a Windows, make sure you select Microsoft Windows. Okay, so it gives you different options to download certain things, but we want the first one. It says DMG Archive. So I click on download and it will ask you uh, if you want to log in or sign up. You can disregard that and you just skip down where it says no thanks. Just start my download. And now it's going to install the MySQL software on your computer. Perfect. So once it's downloaded, make sure you open it. We're not done yet. Okay, so you open up the software and or the installer and you just say continue. You also agree to the license and you will say install. Okay, you have to enter your password. Okay, now here you see it asks you either to use a strong password encryption or use legacy password encryption. I just stick with the first one uh, and say next. And now I enter a password. Make sure you remember the password, it is important. And it asks you again to verify that you want to make changes. Okay, so after you did this, it just takes a little bit to load. You close this, you move to the trash. Perfect, so now what I want to show you is if you go to your system preferences and type here MySQL, it's as, it shows you actually that you have downloaded it successfully. If you wouldn't have downloaded it, it would not show up, you would have nothing here. Uh, and if you want to uninstall this software later, you can do so here. You click on uninstall, but you, you might want to just keep it. Okay, next thing we need to install is the Table Plus software, okay? This one is used um, if you want to create a database and it's just one for format of, like you can use different softwares, but this is one of my preferred ones. So I click on tableplus.com and then I get here to download for Mac. Perfect. So now it is installed or not yet, almost. And you drag and drop it here into your applications. Since I already installed it before, it told me I have it already, but I wanted to show you how to do that. And I close it and now when you go to your applications, you will see it here, Table Plus, okay? So now when you open Table Plus,
you see how the software looks like. So now you should see here your name or the name of your desktop. And you will see that it is connected to the MySQL server, okay? And you see that this number here, just if you're interested, this number here is the same as this number here, okay? Which means it is successfully connected. In my next video, I want to show you how to use Table Plus and how to create a database and tables. So tune in.